Welcome to my channel. My name's Tony. This is Real At Home Barbecue. Today we're talking about charcoal, how to light it. Mmm, lighter fluid. Don't you just love that delicious lighter fluid smell that you get on your hamburgers, your chicken, your steak, your ribs? Ah, oh, it's great. What, you don't? Yeah, neither do I. I'm going to show you how you can light your charcoal using one simple tool and some garbage. And you can throw this crap away forever. Okay, I've got here a bucket of my favorite charcoal. I've got a Weber charcoal chimney, chimney starter. This device cost about as much as three or four bottles of your favorite nasty lighter fluid. I've also got a bucket of garbage here. My particular garbage just happens to be my shred bin from my uh, work. Here's what I do, very simple. Take this, flip it over. On the bottom side here is this cool little cone-shaped cage. Put that there like that. I take my paper, I don't use anything nasty, any gross wet papers and stuff like that. I just water it up to a ball, throw it in there. To save you a bunch of time watching me water paper, I took the liberty of pre wadding everything. And all I'm gonna do is put a bunch of paper, loosely pack it down inside there like that. That's plenty, just enough to where it's not gonna tip over when I try to stand it up. Next thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna flip it over I'm gonna set it on my barbecue grate. Very simple. And I'm gonna take my charcoal and I'm going to fill this bad boy up. There we go. Cool. Now, notice I did not soak that paper in anything. I didn't soak it in oil. I didn't add any lighter fluid gun or alcohol or anything like that. It's just paper. It's just clean old paper, watered up, thrown in there. Oh, you can use a lighter. I prefer my little torch here, and I light it. There. Paper is burning. I think I'm going to get this bucket the heck out of the way, because this sucker is going to get hot. Maybe I better get this out of the way, too. And I'm going to let it sit there. That paper is going to burn. It's going to suck up air from the bottom. It's going to get that charcoal going and watch what happens. All right, 10 minutes and two beers later, the uh, there's a lot of flames coming out the top of this charcoal starter. It's looking good. You can go ahead and dump it in and use it right now. But I think we're going to let it uh, cook just a little bit longer. Okay, this charcoal is looking good. It's been 15 minutes here and uh, charcoal is all turning nice and white. We've got some serious heat coming out of there. We can go ahead and dump this and we're good to go. We're gonna do that. Use some gloves. This stuff is hot. There we go. There it is. That is the easiest way to get your charcoal going. No lighter fluid, no paper towel soaked in oil, just some plain old paper, just some regular old paper and um, watered up underneath there, good to go. Oh, by the way, this thing is probably about three years old now. I've used it freaking dozens and dozens of times and it's held up great. Um, Weber's not the only one that makes them. There's plenty of companies that make them. Just find one that works for you. Um, they're, they're, they're cheap, they're awesome, and you'll save a ton of money in uh, lighter fluid purchases. 
That's it. So simple. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. If you like what you saw here, please subscribe. I've got videos coming up soon on barbecue and pork ribs and, and all kinds of fun stuff. So uh, trying to keep it short, just little things that you can um, put together so that you can use these little techniques to improve your barbecuing at home experience. Thank you so much for watching and uh, take care.